Guys, it's a Friday evening. It's the beginning of the weekend. And that means one thing. It's time to party. Okay, so before we get the night rounded off, let's go. Let's grab some vodka. Let's grab some Draniki. And let's hit it. Let's hit the bright lights of Minsk on a Friday night. All right, dude. How long have you been waiting for me? They're shutting shop forever in two days. Now they're booked, so you leave the show. Okay. So. Could be Vasilki, could be Grunwald. Grunwald, that place is closed. Okay, let's try. All right, let's try Vasilki. Never let me down. Never have. They never have. Yep. Yeah. All right, let's they go. Their, they have their own beers. Make it even better. Absolutely. All right. Maybe I should put put the camera away. Not necessarily. <laughs> the riot police has just passed, so we're clear. We're in the clear. We're in the clear, folks. We're in the clear. All right, guys. What we have here? So we finally made it to Grunwald. All the other places were full, were full up. Um, do I need some light? I put it for the face. Put it for the face. Yes. Okay. Anyway, we made it to a place called Grunwald on Karl Marx Street, where we're having a bit of uh, Draniki. Okay, I'm having some Draniki. So what Draniki is? It is a bit of a potato pancake, fried potato pancake, uh, with some sour cream, lettuce, and we have some cranberry, a bit of cranberry rolled in. And Andre there, mushroom soup. a bit of mushroom soup. Filling yes, and recharging the batteries. He needs his batteries recharged. Okay, Friday all right, guys. So we're going to get tucked in. A bit of drama key. Mm. Very nice. Cheers. Okay, let's get straight back into it. I'm going to enjoy this. Right, guys, we're back. We're back out on the streets. Just got out of the lid beer bar. And let me introduce my friend here. This is Andre. You probably, if some of you probably might know him from, uh, he has his own YouTube channel. Uh, he's a cert certified tour guide. And he's going to give us some tips on what to do when we come to Belarus. For instance, how to tip a waiter. Yep. Should be a box, give or take, if you enjoy the service or if you plan to come there again. Mm hmm. There we go. Now, I often get a lot of questions from you guys about, okay, people, they want to move to Belarus, buy some property. What sh should they do? Well, to move to Belarus, you have to get that temporary residency permit, which extends your stay to one year because there are different visas and mm -hmm. you can get yourself a 90-day visa if you feel you want to extend. You take a language course, you not necessarily a language course, but Minsk Linguistic University is one of the top options for yep. that. Or you buy a property, cheap or not so cheap, is up to you, but it's a ground for you to apply for a one-year residency. So this, uh, this today I've been shopping around with my American guy, we saw six flats. This was a mixture of uh, Chinese currency exchange and Istanbul mm -hmm. Bazaar. Haggling, discussing, arguing, a lot of fun. So that's why I'm so worn out. There you go, guys. Look at all that information you're getting. So subscribe to them. Okay guys, we're coming in right into the heart of the nightlife of Minsk. It's a Friday evening. It's a bit quiet on a Friday evening. Our next port of call, guys, is a place called Sherlock. That's where we're going to. But the beer bar. So we can get some more beer on top of the wine that we've just had. You, not us. Guy he's a straight guy and he by the way guys look at this he's bought himself a loaf of bread Andre actually did a detour went into a bakery and bought some bread that's the most random thing I've ever seen on a Friday night Last some dude price, so some dude walking around with a loaf of bread yeah, it's a unusual site for the old town drinking part absolutely let's go all right guys we're inside Charlotte. This place is starting to get a bit lively. Let's see what we're All right. We have, we have got some beer served in jars of honey. Well, Andre, what's the verdict? Cheers. <laughs> All 
All right, guys, cheers. Not many places in Europe that are left where you can walk into a pub, drink a beer. PM, 10 p.m. on a Friday night, rent for half price. All right, guys, we've actually met a couple of my subscribers here. <laughs> guys, how's it going? Very good, very good, actually. Oh, yeah, <laughs> lovely, okay. lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you. <laughs> guys, sorry, what's your name? I'm Andy. Andy, where are you from? I'm Nigerian. From Nigeria, yeah, you're from? Uh, I'm from Australia. Australia? Where are you from yourself? I'm from Belarus. Russia. Belarus, uh, <laughs> Ireland. There's no such country as Belarus. Belarus. Belarus, it's actually Belarus, guys. It's Belarus. Oh, got, it it, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> so, what are, you, what are you doing here in Belarus? What are you doing I'm here? Anyway? Work. You're working here, yeah? Yeah, I'm working here, yeah. Okay, you're working here. What are you doing here? I study and work. Yeah. Study and work? Yeah. I'm living in he's, he's, he's a local, here. he's living he's local, here. Yeah. He's a local dude here. All right. All right, guys, we made a bit of a detour to the high bar. Roman Coke. Cheers. Roman Coke. Okay, guys. Well, I'm just up from Zubitskai Street. Had a further three rum and cokes. I'm well on the way. Okay, let's go to the next place. Do you want a bit of live music? Ah, I've done. I know just the place. Let's go to TNT Rock Club for a bit of live music. One of the best cover bands Minsk has to offer. All right, I think we run off the night here. Let's go. Yeah. 